Okay. Uh, my name is Tim Miller. I'm one of the organizers of FENCON in Dallas. It's a growing regional convention. I've been coming to Worldcon and SwampCon for several years, and I think Dallas Fort Worth is a great town or great market. And I would love to bring all of you to downtown Fort Worth in 2015. We are still work looking at various hotels. It will be a downtown Fort Worth, Texas uh, hotel. Uh, great city, lots of fans in the area. We have, it's one of the safest pedestrian cities in North America, uh, according to the Fort Worth Convention and Visitors Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> we're very, very nice people and they're eager to have us. Um, we'll be hopefully in a central downtown hotel. Uh, it's a vibrant, active downtown, open nights and weekends, restaurants and bars, more than 60 restaurants and bars that will be open on weekends, will be open at nights, so it's not going to roll up the sidewalks. Um, What's the weather in Dallas like right now? Uh, right now it's not good, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. It's colder in Dallas than it is here, and I got so lights out. We, we're actually going to, just to interrupt briefly, we're going to basically let these guys get through their presentation as a test of memory. Um, we'll do 10 minutes of questions at the end of all of them. So if you can remember your question that long, it was probably worth asking. If not, show <laughs> This time of year are in the low 40s, average highs are in the mid 60s, but there are flukes. Um, there are lots of great beer in Texas. There is a really good brewery called Roaring Sons, which is just off downtown. So, all the beer people, I'm going to, if we, if we win, I will try to organize a tour of this brewery. Um, and I guess. 15, Fort Worth, the weather should be good. I refuse to promise that it will not snow because I'm not going to make that mistake. <laughs> and thank you very much. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Richards and... Do you have slides? What's that? Do you have slides? Yes, we do. So, pause, would no, you? You're good? Yeah. We're good. We're very good. We're it's, uh, it's not a slide, it's... Uh, it's a web page. Okay, uh, my name is Mark Richards, and uh, we, I am up here as part of the team that wants to bid the New York, New Jersey, the Metro New York, New Jersey area for SmartCon 2015. Uh, right now, uh, we are looking at um, properties in the area of New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, we are not limited to that. Uh, we are. Uh, um, Casting out for uh, anything else that's nearby that works, um, and uh, we have uh, uh, several people on our team. Um, well, the partner of Caitlin over there, and uh, some other people. And uh, at this point, I well, um, we think it's a great location for uh, the uh, New York New Jersey era for a small time. Um, it's uh, we're close to all of the uh, national and international hubs. We've got all the airports nearby: Newark, LaGuardia, JFK. Great for even, especially our overseas bidders for Worldcon to come in, and uh, 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 present to all of you when the time comes. And uh, you can this here. Uh, what's uh, you are, can we get the URL for that? Is that that's actually <laughs> okay? Uh, speak to uh, speak to Caitlin, and she'll give you the URL for for this if you want to see it online. And uh, that's one hotel we're like, we're talking to, High Regency, New Brunswick, um, and uh, there are others. Anyway.
I have one with the uh, X Crown Plaza, which is a very large hotel, free parking, but not downtown. Now, it's not out in the boonies, but if you want to go and do restauranting, and we have some wonderful restaurants in Colorado, including the Broadmoor, um, you're going to need a car. However, if I hold it at that hotel, um, I'm going to have hotel rates at about $100, which should include breakfast and Wi-Fi. And I think, in my personal opinion, I have the best space for a hospitality suite that I've ever seen. I'd like to make a theme of hospitality if we run that convention. The other convention that we could run is at a downtown hotel called the Antlers. Um, <laughs> It, uh, it, it's a built-in property these days. It changes from time to time. And it would probably be 20 to $30 more expensive for a room, but it is right downtown, and you can walk to a wide variety of restaurants. But if you want to go to the best restaurants in Colorado Springs, you're still going to need a car. Um, it does not have wonderful hospitality space, but it has good uh, convention space, and we could use anything we like. So I was trying to fill people out and see whether they'd like to have a hospitality-themed convention or a regular-themed convention. Whatever we do, there's going to be a fan historic on track because uh, Colorado Springs is the home of the Worldcon Heritage Organization, all of the WISFAS, Ephemera, 24, 24 trunks full of stuff. And I'd really like to see a track of programming on doing some detailed uh, uh, copying, indexing, deciding on what else we want. Um, the First Friday fandom of Colorado Springs is about 20 years old. They would like to bring you this convention. They have quite a bit of experience with conventions. And please talk to me or to Kent. Wave your hand, Kent. Um, sometime, and let us know which kind of convention you might like. A hospitality themed, a little cheaper, but not as much walking to restaurants, or the downtown. So, that's what I'd like to say.
Um, this is, uh, we put our bid slightly aside from our original dates when we decided to run this thing called WesterCon next year, or 2015. Uh, so, so we put it off a couple years after that. I am still planning on opening that, you know, restarting the process a little closer to our target dates. Uh, but I am still looking at targeting the downtown gas lamp district, which is the heart of San Diego's nightlife. Not that it'll be of any use to you in, in December. Petco Park, though, is right on the edge of the gas lamp district. A couple of other things to note. Uh, traditionally, the first weekend in December, the same weekend as SmothCon, is San Diego's Balboa Park December nights. Now, that would take people away from the SmothCon in the evening for a while, but there's an awful lot to see there, and the uh, houses, of inter the international houses all pull out their stops and generally feed stuff that's actually from their country. Uh, so there's that. Um, as far as programming, again, like Helen said, it's a few years out. What kind of theme we will use will depend on what's been in past, recent past MOFCONs, what things need to be discussed. Uh, so we are, we are moving for, you know, are moving forward extremely slowly at the moment because we've got another project in the middle. <laughs> Uh, my name is Michael Lee, and I'm speaking with Ann Totasek, who isn't here, and we oh, want, what? Sure, <laughs> uh, um, and we're looking at doing a SmopCon in Minneapolis, probably in 17 or 18. We haven't specifically settled on a date yet, or a hotel. This is more that we want to do it there within the next five years. Um, and beyond that, that's about it. So what, you know, it will be cold and snowy because it's December, but we have a hugely active fandom in Minneapolis that I think that would be very useful to have this sort of experience. Um, and that's about it. Okay, so now the attention span test. Uh, if I can get all of those people presented to come back up. And you guys have about 10 minutes to ask them what you want. So if you would, if you would please direct your questions to uh, uh, Mary, you have to call, by the way, because they can't see Stephen. If you would direct, yes, yeah, he's going to call on them. If I can't see you, I can't call on you. Adrian? Has 2014 been settled yet? We're doing that after we've done this. Oh, okay. For so okay, a question to New York. The question is, you said that uh, you're bidding for 2015 in December, and you said it would be a great place for the foreign bidders. Um, at this point, the foreign, the, there are three foreign bids uh, extant that I know about that will be taking place at the two, 2015 convention uh, in September, World Cup in September. Okay, what's the question? Okay, um, what do you think of the foreign bidders? What, what foreign bidders do you expect in 2015? We're expecting the 2019. The future bids. You know, 2019, uh, Dublin, Paris is real. Uh, New Zealand. Okay. Okay, so. Megan? How much can I pay you not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a discussion you have to have with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Jerry and then Steve. Okay, this is a question for Michael from Minneapolis. Yes. Early December, are they still doing the Holodazzle Parade? I haven't lived there in a while. That's a good question. Um, this, the, there's, there's a holiday. There's a, there's been for many years a winter parade called the Hol Holodazzle during December. Actually, I've heard this maybe the last year, so I don't know at that point in time, so it's too early to say. Thank you. My question is, this is very simple for the New York, New Jersey. Uh, most of your dates were 10 to 12 December rather than the first week of December. So could we do that, or just That's what we got back from our preliminary uh, um, RFPs. Uh, I was 
suggest uh, that um, the dates we were talking about were 11, 12 December rather than uh, the first weekend of December. And um, that was the date we got back from one of the hotels that we're talking to right now. Dave? This question is for Helen. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one was answered. <laughs> will, will it be at the Hyatt? <laughs> Same hotel as the nebulas, and you know those what people like really spiky. I sometimes. <laughs> and if it's big enough for the nebulas, it's big enough for the Inquisition. And a hand I can see over Mike Wilmot's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, question for you, one quick. Where is the nearest train station to uh, do your proposed hotel? <laughs> okay. Um, the nearest train station to the hotel, uh, where's the nearest train station? Two blocks. Two, it's two blocks away. It would be, there's a New Brunswick station on the Northeast Corridor Line. Uh, it's New Jersey Transit, which is also Amtrak. And it's a short train trip from the airport. Uh, Robbie, and then... <laughs> I'm here to ask my question back to New York, because New York is just said that the dates they're looking at are the 11th and 12th of December, which are a Friday and a Saturday. No Sunday? <laughs> yes, it would be Sunday. Well. Okay. You might want to fix your website. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this one's for Tim. Uh, could you describe to people as to why you chose Fort Worth over Dallas? Uh, <laughs> Dallas is a corporate town. Fort Worth is a fun town. Uh, restaurants are open at night in downtown Fort Worth. And there are better hotels in downtown. There's more to do in downtown. And it's just a great city. <laughs> Fort Dallas, I presume the airport is Dallas Fort Worth. It would be Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, yes. Third busiest airport in the world, I think, and second largest. Um, no, you don't have to change planes at DFW. It's great to fly into and out of. It sucks to change planes. That's our biggest benefit. No one will have to change planes. Is that the same thing as Old Town? Or? No, uh, the Gaslamp District is downtown. It's uh, for San Diego history, it used to be, or kind of would have been the New Town. Old Town was where the original Spanish Mexican settlement is. New Town was where Horton decided to go build, build something closer to the port. So it's a late 19th, early 20th century area, but it, it, and it is further downtown. It's about four trolley stops past. Uh, Old Town, or from Old Town, and the same trolley line now just connects straight down there. It's south and west of, of, of Old Town. Yeah, it's south and west of Old Town. Uh, it runs out right onto the bay front. It actually is very close to the convention center where a certain large event is held every July. You may have heard of. <laughs> right. You try not to. <laughs> so, you know, anyone else? You should stand up because I don't think anybody's remembering you because you're down there. <laughs> How could anyone forget Colorado? <laughs> I clearly just said enough and no one has any questions. <laughs> she doesn't need to stand up. The Rocky Mountains are high. <laughs> yes, they are. For Colorado, will there be Cirque du Soleil? <laughs> no, Dave, there will not be service. <laughs> so Mary won't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Colorado, how close to the nearest ski resort? How close to the nearest ski resort? Much farther than you'd want to go. You would have been walking back. Hours and hours. If we're asking about fun, how close to the nearest dispensary? <laughs> By 2015, uh, they'll be all over and you can buy all you want. Um, I don't do that, but you might want to. Will you have a smoking gun? <laughs> No, we will be at Adam.
absolutely no smoking convention. No matter what you're smoking. Well, you have a brownie. Brownie. I have no problem with that. It's legal. And it is legal, and you'll be able to buy it at that point. You want to do that? That's you know, up to you. Okay, is there anyone else? Otherwise, I think we will thank everybody. And, oh, Jenny? Um, is this kindness available to out-of-staters? Oh, yes. Oh, mental hair. I was actually that. Yes. One thing I forget, the one thing I forgot to say that everyone else did. Since nobody remembered, I was the one person who didn't mention the weather, which of course, it's probably the one reason, or the best reason to come to San Diego, at least after Toronto. And um, San Diego does not have weather. Yes. Uh, yeah. San Diego's weather in December, I would expect it to be possibly rainy, but more likely just cool, which means lows in the 40s Fahrenheit, highs in the 60s, maybe 70 Fahrenheit. A little bit warmer than it is here. Will it be on fire? Yes. Hopefully by then it'll be cool enough it won't be on fire. <laughs> Not the last two times I've been at a Lisa conference day. <laughs> yeah, that was my question. Jerry? I'm just going to add on the last um, San Diego Smoth Con, there was like an outdoor hot tub that we enjoyed late at night, you know, in December. It was great. <laughs> okay, so if there's nothing else, let's thank everybody.